In the upcoming 40 years, going to 2015, agriculture is uh, facing a number of challenges that are equal to nothing we've seen so far. Agriculture is being asked to produce twice as much as it's producing now to feed a growing population, but also to provide raw materials for the bio-based economy. And it has to do this on less land, with less water, with less inputs, and in a climate that is predicted to change in unpredictable ways. On top of that, we need to make agriculture more sustainable than it has been uh, in some places in the world. That is an enormous set of challenges, and the only way in which we are going to be able to address those is to completely rethink the role of science and technology, including modern biotechnology, in the further development of agriculture. Unless we are mobilizing every knowledge resource, including agricultural technology, in the next, in the next 40 years, we will simply fail to achieve all these objectives. Can it be done? Is biotechnology relevant? Two examples. One that is already very successful is the introduction of zero tillage agriculture in large parts of the world as a consequence of the use of herbicide tolerant crops. This kind of technology reduces erosion of the soil, builds up carbon in the soil, therefore uh, addresses CO2, greenhouse gas emissions, and generally has increased biodiversity in the fields where it is applied. At least as exciting, possibly of more significance even, are developments, the production of drought tolerant crops for the near future. As climate becomes more unpredictable, farmers need to build more insurance into the genetics of their crop so that they can deal with more unpredictable rainfall than in the past. These examples show that a proper and well thought through use of modern biotechnology in agriculture is a very, very important part of the solution to these daunting challenges.